So I'm not sure if you guys are able to see that number right there. But uh, yeah, we have to get that lower. We, ha we have to uh, uh, subtract maybe the f last seven and the four here. Um, when I turned on the computer, he was at 446. And now he's at 447. So I'm not exactly sure how that's done. But please unsubscribe to him and subscribe to me. Cardmaster X, yeah. Keep mastering life. I don't know if you guys will be able to comprehend the quantity of items in this video. Your head might just explode. But if it doesn't explode, change that number on the screen to 185. Thank you and enjoy the video. Yo, 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 yo. What's up, YouTube? It's the Card Trick Master here again today for another video, and I am back once again, guys, with another video. So for today's video, I got something special for y'all. If I move my left arm here, the arm holding the fake mic, you guys will be able to see my uh, entire collection of Rubik's items. Let me say that one more time just for effect. Rubik's items. Now, these are just individual Rubik's items that I have collected over the years, gotten as gifts that I've bought myself. I don't know how many of you guys liked me teaching you guys how to solve the Rubik's Cube. I'm not going to teach you all of these. I'm just going to basically be showing you my collection today. But if you want me to teach you guys how to solve any one of these cubes in a video, please, please, please let me know by unsubscribing to Kodrick's 8. Obviously, for all of you Gen Zs out there, he's like a giraffe, but who suffers from being short. He's like a he's like a short giraffe. He's he's cool. He's interesting. Um, not many people know his potential like I do, but he can be dangerous. So, if you guys don't want danger, come to my channel. But if you guys do want danger, then I just have to kind of admit he's the guy for you. Before we begin this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe down below, comment on any videos you guys are ready to do next, and hit that little notification bell so you guys can never miss a video from me. Also, please don't forget to follow me on all my social media links, which will be in the description box down below, so you guys can go check me out, say what's up, and give me more video ideas. If you go to teespring.com slash stores slash shop CMX, you guys will be able to pick up yourselves some custom CMX t-shirts, hoodies, and stickers, as well as custom JBZ t-shirts and hoodies. More will be coming, so please, 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 please check it out. Go get yourself some merch. Comfortable, comfortable. I have some coming right now. I, uh, I think I'm ready to go. Are you guys ready? Lego. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, little Debbie's kind of hot. I, I'd smash. I'd be her nutty buddy, if you know what I mean. These ones are known as the Mega Minx or the Dodecahedron, which sounds like a name that I would give Card Tricks 8 if I was his best friend, um, but I'm not, so he's a Dodecahedron. It's a pentagon, but it's 12-sided, and it's pretty lit. They uh, they mix up really coolly, as you can see here. They uh, they do pretty pretty lit things. Mix up really well. Solve pretty easily, in my opinion. And so, yeah, dodecahedrons, pretty lit. I actually have three 3x3s. Three um, these are the original Rubik's Cubes. This is the one I showed you guys in the tutorial video. This is my fastest one, the Speed Cube. But I have other two original ones. Um, so maybe I'll do a giveaway, maybe I won't. Um, it all depends on if you guys subscribe or unsubscribe to Card Tricks 8. This one, this one, is one of my favorites. It's called the Mirror Cube. Um, I think that's what it's still called. I don't know if they changed the name of it, but when I got it, it was called the Mirror Cube. I've had this cube for a while, for a couple years now. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty fun. As you can see, mixing it up, these uh, little areas stick out. Like it's a cool. It looks like a cool, like futuristic building or like something you'd see in a futuristic video game. It's, it's awesome. I would recommend one of these. I will also leave links to where you can get these Rubik's cubes in the description down below, so you guys can go pick them up for yourself. I'm not sure what this one's called, but it's similar to a three x three. But these also stick out as well. If I only knew the name of them, I'd be uh, more professional. But I don't know the name of them. Sadly, I got this one for Christmas uh, just this past year. It's a Sudoku cube. Um, it's only for really the the mentally able um, because I 
I have no I fucking idea how to solve it. It moves like not that good at all. Um, so I might have to lube it up. It also makes a weird jiggling noise. If you guys can hear that, I don't know what that is. But uh, yeah, thank you, sis, for the for the amazing Christmas gift. I love you. This is called the Impossible Cube. Um, it's one of my favorites. Haven't been able to solve it. Um, a lot of times I pick up a cube and I twist them, and then I think I know how to solve it, and I don't end up knowing how to. Because if you can see, you look at it, if you flip it, the colors change. And it kind of gets annoying because now it looks red right here, right? And now it looks blue. So it's like, I just don't know where to put it, how to solve it. Um, so I guess I just got to kind of figure that out and uh, see see where it gets me. I also have more Rubik's brand cubes, which are a 2x2 two two and a 4x4. 2x2, four four. Two two, pretty interesting, pretty easy, nothing to it. 4x4. Four one of the hardest to solve, um, but I like it. It's cool. It's big. It fits my hands really well because I have I have big, big fat hands, and uh, I think it's from eating too many Nutty Buddies. This one again, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's one of my favorites. Moves really awesomely. Turns around. Very very slick. Very amazing cube. Um, I like the colors on it. It's very very nice. Uh, it could be known as a uh, Cardmaster X because it's an it's an X. So this is the snake cube. Snake cube is my sister's favorite. You can actually take it and turn it out of the ball that it was in. And you can uh, twist these like this. And you can actually take them and turn them into a snake. Um, that's why it's called the, the snake cube. Because it turns into one long erect penis, which is what snakes are. And the last cube, which is my most recent cube, and the cube that is the hardest for me, and the cube that is the most awesomeness to me. This is Rubik's and Perplexus meshed together into one gigantic, fun-ass game. If you remember that big game Perplexus with the ball, and you had to take the, the, the little tiny marble that was like silver, and you had to like spin it around the ball on the track, and you had to move it around the track and make it not fall. Well, this is something similar, but this is Rubik's Cubes. You have the perplexus tracks in each cube of the of the cube, and you have to line up the track with the numbers on the other tracks by turning each side. And then once all the tracks are lined up, you take the metal ball that's in there somewhere and you move it around the track. Once you've solved the track, and it should be able to be kind of a fun toy that you will spend 800 years trying to solve. And that's pretty much pretty much my collection. I mean. I have a, a a whole lot of whole lot of babies here. I have a whole lot of babies here, as you can see. I have a lot of cool puzzles. So if you guys enjoyed that video, again, please leave a like and uh, that number right there. Yeah, bring it down for me. Just just a smidgey smidge, so I'll I'll be able to catch up. And uh, yeah, I love y'all, and I'm so happy for all the support. And uh, I'll see you guys on Monday. Keep mastering life. It's, I don't know why I'm using this shit. Ooh, I didn't finish. And now, a word from JBZ. Yo, yo, what it do, what it do, my always strong crew. How you all doing today? And uh, I just want to show you all a little bit of a small clip of a new single that is coming out on Monday, April 5th, 2021. It is called Mentor 2. And if you guys hate Kotrick Sade as much as CMX and I do, then you guys will like this song. Please check out this clip. And thank you to CMX for mentioning me at the end of his video. Always strong. You don't seem to understand the ways of internal rhyming You're just not ready for JBZ to start styling So Derek, in case you decide to stay long Just remember, in this game, if you mention my name You have to remain, what's the word again? Oh yeah, always strong